Got a no cool call pan full of water. The sewer was clogged. We're gonna pump the water out with my transfer pump. My little gadget. Pump it into the sewer. Oh yeah. And see ya. Made me this little gadget with some earth magnets and it'll stick to the pan and suck that water out of there. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yep, it's pretty cool. There it is. Flushing through there real good. Send him to go check his thermostat so basically right here there's a sewer trap you can see the vent there's a trap right here the trap was clogged i blew the trap out i've got my little magnetic flange back there and i'm flushing all this water through the trap through the sewer trap <laughs>
just have to evaporate. We didn't leave much in there at all. See the earth magnets? Your thermostat's back on? Go ahead and kick the unit on. Kick it on. Put it on. Okay, it might be in time delay then. Just give it a second. Okay, it might be in time delay. Let's just give it a minute. Said he's got it on cool, but the unit's not running. It's it's a Honeywell 6000. Programmable. It's going to be in time delay. I got to go grab a coupling anyway. Let's put his drain back together. I got to find the other piece of the drain. Here it is. That's the piece that goes there. Get a coupling. I'm going to shave a little bit more off of here. Not much. to put some PVC fittings in my pump bag. I keep forgetting to do it. All right, guys, we'll talk more in the truck. This is the upstairs system. It's an Amana. We have the cover off. I just bought myself the, uh, the uh, Stratus. Let's see what we can find.
All right, guys, so you saw most of the video was uh, the downstairs unit was completely offline because of the uh, the sewer trap was stopped up like I explained and we cleared that out and then we took the transfer pump and we flushed out the sewer line. It took the water no problem after I blew it out and um, got that done and everything looked good on it and then he asked me to check the Freon on the upstairs system because he said they put it on the other day and it was blowing but it just wasn't blowing cold so i went ahead and did that and of course i found it a little lone freon it was running about 60 pounds r22 a mana right when goodman bought a mana um it was running about 60 pounds of suction which is a little low so i recently bought uh I don't know how good the video is, I have, you know, until I get it in the editor, but I bought a Stratus. I love my H10, but I've heard really good things about these Stratuses. So I got one and uh, found several small leaks, like just beep, 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 beep. You know, beep, 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 nothing major, nothing, you know. But I found a bunch of those little beep, 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 beep. So, and at 60 PSI, you know, that's not horrible. So, I would talk to the lady. The lady, she she's hilarious. She cracks me up. Um, you know, she's like, well, what do we do about it? And I said, well, we can either change the coil or we can change the whole system. She's like, oh, Lord. She said, no, I'm not changing that whole system inside and out. I said, okay, okay. I said, well, what do you want to do? She goes, I want to do the cheapest thing possible. And I said, okay. The good thing about those Goodman Amana coils is they're, they're very relatively cheap. So we should be able to get that done for her pretty cheap. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much, but got the downstairs system back online. It's a newer Lux Air system. Oh, I got a price of plenum for that one too. The plenum is just duckboard. It's horrible. Got a price amount of plenum and for that and an upstairs coil. So little bit of work to do for them good people that's the uh, second time I've worked for them they really like me last time she saw me that was about two years ago when I was big so when she saw me she didn't believe it was me I had to really convince her and I had to show her a picture of my face so she could see my facial facial features yeah she's like that is you and I said yeah it's really me I said why would I lie to you you know and she, she gave me a big old hug, you know, told me how great I looked, you know, and all that. And which I've been getting a lot of that lately from customers. So anyway, she was shocked, but it's been a couple years since I've been here. But they're happy, and uh, they want to get—they do want to get these repairs done. So we're gonna quote everything out. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.